everybody, this is Donna. Welcome to my channel, Restore Glory. Thank you so much for stopping by yet again. Uh, yes, your girl has a bunch of haul videos that I am actually trying to get done all on this wonderful Saturday evening while I have time. I am multitasking. I am washing clothes. I am organizing. I am trying to prepare for to do some, uh, some uh, work on tomorrow. So it's a lot going on. It really is. I'm trying to figure out my my whole life. You know, life is life and all the day on time, I tell you. But yet and still, the one thing that makes me happy is to bring items to you that I have picked up along the way. And I'm so excited to say that I have been picking up some amazing, amazing items. Now, I do have an item that I'm going to save to last. This is not click and bait. I promise you, I don't play that game. Um, but I do have an amazing item that I'm going to show you at the back end of this particular video. Only because when I do find this particular brand, I go gaga over it. So just stay tuned for that. This should be a relatively quick video. I'm going to try to get through it uh, fairly quickly. All right, guys, again, if you see anything that's uh, that I have not had an opportunity to upload to my eBay shop, don't worry. Just shoot me an email and I will send you an invoice and then we can go from there. How about that? I am trying my best to get things listed as much as I possibly can. I know the fourth quarter is coming up and I'm trying to get things listed as quickly as I possibly can. So so you guys, please just bear with me and know that I am. A, I do try my best to respond all of respond to all of my emails as quickly as possible, and I do try to get my items listed up on my Etsy and eBay shop as quickly as possible. But if you check it out and you don't see it listed, again, just shoot me an email and I will expedite the process and I will get you an invoice as quickly as possible. I promise. All right, guys, so let me just go ahead and get started. The first item I'm going to show you is Linux. I uh, went to Second Avenue, and they had a few um, Linux items that were on their shelves, and I cannot believe the prices because um, in the past, this particular Second Avenue, they have overpriced, I believe, um, Linux items. I think that they are... Um, looking at some of the souls on eBay. I know that they do research, um, but some of the items that they were listing for Linux items in particular, I believe were just so um, interestingly priced, like above $8 for a little trinket box. Now this particular trinket box, unfortunately for me, was only $3.99 and I totally love it. It's this beautiful swan. I'll show you the mark on the bottom that says Linux, as you can see. We love Linux. And it's just such it's such a little sweet little trinket box, as you can see. Let me just open it. Nothing on the inside, but it is just such a sweet little Linux trinket box, which I love. Love, 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 love Linux. All right. The next item I have is another little Linux trinket box. Again, this was $3.99 as well. And this one has the hollies and the berries on it. It definitely has the Linux logo on the bottom. And again, uh, excuse me one second. Here's the inside. And I just love this little trinket box with the hollies and the berries. Just so sweet and delicate. I totally love it. All right, so that's that. The next item I have found is the Bluebird of Happiness. I just recently sold the Bluebird of Happiness, I don't know, about a week or so ago. And I keep finding it. So I have found another little Bluebird of Happiness. This one does not have, give me a second. I don't think this one has a... Leo Ward on the bottom. I don't think it does. Give me one second. I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it does not. Uh, oh, maybe it does. It does, actually. It's a 19... Yep, it does. It's a 19... Looks like 1984. You guys probably won't be able to see that. But it definitely is signed on the bottom, Leo Ward. And it is. It's 1984. I can see that from this angle. You guys probably won't be able to see it. But again, the Bluebird of Happiness... This was only $1.99, so I absolutely love it. I know that people still do collect the Leo Ward Bluebird of Happiness. The next item is another Linux product. I absolutely love this little trinket, uh, this little uh, figurine. It's of this beautiful, sweet uh, bunny rabbit with some flower, with a flower basket. Let me just show you the mark on the bottom. It does say Linux. This is so sweet. I could not find a comp on eBay, so I have no idea what to list this particular item for, but I'm going to go ahead and list it. Probably not right now. I may save it for uh, for the spring next year, for Easter next year. I'm trying to get most of my um, 
harvest, uh, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas stuff listed for uh, September. I'm trying to get all that stuff first. So this I might not get listed until later. However, if you're interested in this little baby and you want it in your hands before the holiday season next year, just let me know. Isn't that adorable? Love it. It's so cute. And I think this was $3.99. So I think somebody must have... Um, you know, probably must have had a uh, Linux collection. They were get rid of it. And here's the uh, getting rid of it. So the next I'm going to show you is Charming Tales. I have sold a, a few of the Charming Tales uh, figurines. This one is uh, adorable. This one says, Life's a Picnic with You. Let me just show that. Show that. And I think I sold this, this particular figurine uh, once before. So it is called Life's a Picnic by Charming Tales. I love, love, love the mushroom. I love the snail that's on the top. Oh, it's so cute. And they're just having a beautiful little picnic. And, you know, just a little beautiful little picnic, right? So totally love the Charming Tales. Um, um, there was a reseller that I used to follow. I still follow. And they said that Charming Tales, like back in the, you know, maybe about eight or nine years ago, it was super duper popular. Um, I think just because there's just so many of it right now. And uh, this normally would have sold for about $50, I believe. Um, I didn't pay much for it, guys. I think I only paid like maybe $3.99 for it. So I will list this one in particular. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that I sold this one before. So I'm probably just going to list it for the same price. It does have a few little dings along the way, but nothing too crazy that would take away from uh, take away from the look. As you can see, there's a little ding heels paint chip right there and right there. So um, I will list that accordingly. All right, the next item completely, completely shocked me because when I saw it on the shelf, I just thought it was a beautiful pink egg, right? Let me just show it to you. Isn't that stunningly beautiful? You know it is. Go ahead and admit it. When I looked on the bottom, I noticed that it definitely was marked. And on the bottom, it said Marquee by Waterford. Now, you guys probably will not be able to see that mark on the bottom, which I completely understand just because of my camera. But this is a Waterford egg, and this was only $1.99, right? I absolutely, it matches my fingernails. Okay, cool. Um, so this one is stunningly, stunningly beautiful. So if I remember correctly, when I looked up uh, the Waterford Marquee egg, the clear ones, I think, oops, the clear ones sold, I want to say for about $25.00. Um, and I didn't see too many pink ones. I didn't. I have to go back and do a little bit more research on this particular color. But nonetheless, I thought this was a beautiful, beautiful Waterford piece, which I absolutely think is stunningly, stunningly beautiful. 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 So I am so glad I picked it up. All right, the next item I, uh, is a set of, I got a set of eight of these at Goodwill. I happened to come at the right time because they were just putting these babies out. I believe these are, I believe these are Hazel Atlas. They're called the, um, oh my goodness, they're called, I forgot what they're called. I think they're Hazel Atlas. Um, I can't remember the name, but anyway, I have a set of eight of these and they have cherries and lemons. They're frosted glass with cherries and lemons. And I have eight of these. So I'm more than likely gonna sell them in lots of four, right? I think that's a smart thing to do is just sell them in lots of four. So I thought that was super cool. They were $1.99 a piece, but they are in pristine condition, guys. Like I have never, uh, seeing this particular pattern. I love the little ice, ice cubes. I'm just now noticing that. But these, although summer is winding down, um, I, I suspect that somebody might want to have this set in their summer collection for next year. Or maybe even give us a gift. But aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. The next item is a Halloween item. I actually uh, have had this in my uh, um, collection for a little bit. I forgot to show it in a previous video. Um, there is no maker's mark on this. However, it is a Halloween figurine. It has a scarecrow with a, uh, with a, what do you call that thing? Like a, what do you call this thing? Like a black bird on its shoulder. Um, and it, there again, there's no maker's mark on the bottom, but it is clearly um, for the Halloween uh, season. 
and he is uh he is in his glory if you will with his uh, his little buddy hanging out with him and he's hanging out in the pumpkin patch <laughs> so he was pretty cool he's probably about maybe seven eight inches tall as you can see so if you if you like to if you like to get him before the uh before halloween just let me know and we can work it out all right, the next item I thought was super cool. This was only 99 cents, and I just thought it was adorable. Look, it's an owl. I think this is what they call a towel holder, right? And I love, love, love the fall colors. It is a beautiful um, crocheted owl, right, with his beautiful eyes. <laughs> and I believe that he would look cool in your, your not even Halloween, but in your fall home decor right isn't he adorable completely completely adorable i love him <laughs> he is so adorable i love 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 him adorable all right now the next item is a little kind of sort of scary so if you don't like scary stuff just let me know this was only a dollar 99 if i remember correctly it was only a dollar 99 at uh second avenue so it's for the halloween season and it's a kind of sort of creepy creepy uh a second how do you even start this baby where's your arm at darling oh there it is i gotta cut it on give me a second guys Give me one second, please. There we go. mind Halloween. I don't celebrate. I don't decorate for Halloween, but I do know that people totally dig Halloween and they, they, they adore, you know, uh, uh, the Halloween season because they love to, you know, do their thing in terms of Halloween decor. So this particular baby, I think I only pay like a dollar 99 for it. So this one will be listed. It's called the rockin old woman. So I thought this was super cool for those of you who love to decorate for Halloween. I thought this was super cool. And uh, of course I was going to pick it up for you who love your Halloween. She, she definitely is pretty, pretty dead and creepy, literally creepy, but it's all good. All right. So the next item, I'll put you right there. The next item, let me just take a sip of this stag on. apple juice um the next item i'm going to show you is a set of coasters it came in this beautiful beautiful holder now i do believe one is missing i only have three of them but i believe this is agate this cobalt blue agate which i totally love but i love 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 even though it doesn't have the full four pieces I still think this will do well. I think that somebody, it's a little dusty. I do believe that someone is going to love this as a part of their home decor. Don't you just love the agate? I absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. All right, that's that. The next item is, I believe this is Viking. It's called the Petal, um, the Petal Swung Vase, right? And it's in this very light pink, light pink color. I found two of these for $3.99 a piece at the, um, at the second avenue at the uh, goodwill i'm sorry but anyway it's this very light pink excuse me color now i do know that it it looks like someone must have put water in it because there is some water damage on the inside um but nonetheless it is still stunningly pretty i'm going to try my best to clean it out again i have two of these so i'm going to sell them together only because i think it'll probably sell better together um so if you love viking and you love this petal pattern um, these will be available in my shop um, as soon as I can go ahead and get these babies listed. And again, I will try my best to clean them out as much as I possibly can, but I may not be able to do too much because of the water damage. But still pretty, still pretty nonetheless. All right, the next item I'm going to show you is a beautiful cobalt blue Fiesta, HLC Fiesta. <laughs> 
uh, what do you call it? spoon rest. I have sold a few of these. I've sold this cobalt blue one. I've sold a yellow one. And I think I sold um, like an orange one too. But once I, when I see these, I usually always pick them up because they sell well. I do believe the cobalt blue color is definitely one that is highly collectible. I want to say I paid maybe $5 for this, $5.99 for this particular one. But they sell anywhere between $24, $28.00. So this one should do well. It is in excellent condition. I don't think this baby has ever, ever been used um, just because of just, just, just looking at it. It looks fairly, fairly un, unworn, if you will. So, of course, I was going to pick, pick it up. I paid up a little bit for it, but I'm pretty sure it would do well. People who love the Vintage Fiesta, they love, even if, even if you just get this as a replacement, people do love the Fiesta Cobalt Blue Color. So I wanted to pick that up just in case somebody's looking for a replacement or they just want to have this one in their in their collection of cobalt blue fiesta uh kitchen and dinnerware. All right, that's that. The next item I'm gonna show you, let me just show you this real quick before I show you that. So when I picked this up, hold on a sec, it was wrapped up in a it was wrapped up with tape. So I'm gonna show you the two together. So I found two of these world, I'm gonna call them like little world. Um, like cocktail glasses. I have two of these. It also came with this. I think this is a decanter. So I think that the decanter sat on something to kind of sort of hold it or tilt it or whatever. Unfortunately, I didn't realize that until I brought it home. So it came on this like wooden stand. It came with the two, with these two glasses, right? But um, I believe that this particular decanter actually... Uh, there's some, there's a piece that's missing in the middle that would hold the decanter based on what I, I saw in my research. So on the inside, I hope you can see it. It has a picture of a ship and I believe you fill the decanter up. It probably even had a stopper. So I didn't realize that until actually I bought it home. It was only $4.99. No, 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 no. This was $9.99. So I didn't realize that until I got it home. So what I might end up doing, I may end up just selling this separately. I may end up selling the glasses separately because I think that probably those who are interested in barware were probably going to want the entire piece that holds this. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I probably just, I'm going to have to think about this particular buy. So, um, yeah, so that it happens sometime. It definitely happens. When I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. But then I realized that all of the pieces were not there. So what would you do, guys? Would you sell this separately uh, and sell the glasses, uh, sell the glasses separately? I think I think the glasses will do fine. I can sell the glasses separately. My problem is what to do with this baby. I don't know what to do with that. So... Anyway, that was that was a challenge. All right, the next item I'm going to show you guys is something that's Christmas related. I totally love them. I actually there were two, three of these in the Goodwill. I don't. They were all on a shelf together, and I'm like, oh my god, those look amazing, right? One of them was completely cracked up. This is made out of some type of plastic, so I didn't pick that one up. But there were two of them that I um, saw, and they didn't look damaged at all. Um, However, one of them only works. This one is the one that works. They were $3.99 a piece. So um, I only bought two of them. So what is that? Uh, uh, four and four, $8 for two of them. One of them doesn't work. I've tried to put the batteries in it and it's just not working. I have tried everything I possibly can. Anyway, the name of this company that puts these, put this little baby together is called, let me just show you. I think it's a Lucio. Can you guys see that? A Lucio. Um, and they sell okay, right? They sell okay anywhere from, I don't know, $15 to $25. But they are musical. So let me just play just a little bit of it so you guys can see how I thought they were fabulous. So um, hold on a second. So it plays different tunes, and I thought that was super cool for 
four dollars um i wish the other one worked i may get my husband to kind of sort of take a look at it and see why it's not working because the battery compartment is completely clear it hasn't been damaged because of you know any batteries exploding or any acid uh leaking out so i don't know why it's not working right um but if i can get it to work that's fine if not i'll just may have to just re-donate it or maybe what i'll do is just list it as a uh as home decor and just say not working right because again i think it would be super pretty as a home decor piece right because it's still pretty and both of them have the uh have the star on it so what i might do if i can't get it to work this one i'll list as working and the other one that i have i'll just list as not working because it's not i don't know what's going on with that i have no idea i really don't Hi guys, so here we are. We're to the point where I gotta show you my amazing, amazing find of the day. So uh, this was, was this late in the evening? I, this, this was one of the times when I actually went to the store and it was late in the evening, like after work, right? The week that I had uh, this week was a little challenging, a little challenging, a lot of priorities and a lot of items that just, just was overwhelming me. So what I ended up doing was stopping by the Goodwill. This was at 2nd Avenue on my uh, way home and after work, right? So I'm just looking around. I picked up a couple of items, which is great, right? And I actually saw this sitting on the shelf. I could not even believe that it was still there after 6 o'clock p.m., right? So I'm just going to say two words. Mackenzie Childs, right? So if you guys who are resellers know anything about Mackenzie Childs, you know that whatever you find in the thrift store is a score. I have sold a few Mackenzie Child items and they always sell super duper well. And this one is no exception. This is a beautiful, prist in pristine condition, Mackenzie Childs teapot. Guys, I paid $8.99 for this particular teapot. I didn't care. Because I know that this one will probably sell for about $80 to $90 easily. Easy. It is in pristine. It still has, excuse me one second. It still has its original paperwork on the bottom, right? About how to care for it. Look at the inside. It's pristine. I don't think this baby has ever, ever been used. I love, love, love the beautiful... Um, flower pattern and the green and the clear uh, knob on it. It is in excellent, excellent condition, guys. Let me just show you the bottom. It says Mackenzie Childs. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So me paying $8.99 for this particular piece was not a bother to me because, again, I'm pretty sure that I'll be able to get anywhere from $80 to $90 for this particular Mackenzie Childs teapot absolutely absolutely was the score of the day right so um i just think that again you know one of the things i always say is like not everybody's looking for the same exact thing right so as resellers you know you just never know what you're gonna find on the shelves you never know and you just you just never know this was late in the evening like after six o'clock p.m and um for me to find that that was just sitting there is beyond beyond amazing right so thank you guys. Thank you so much. That is my haul. I'm actually trying to keep these babies under 30 minutes. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Again, guys, if you see anything that I have not had an opportunity to list on my Etsy and my eBay shop, just let me know. All of my contact information is down here in the description. So shoot me an email and say, hey, Don, I would love to have that item. And I will quote you a price and I will send you an email, I'll send you an invoice so we can go from there. And I'll just make this one little plug. If you guys have not subscribe to my channel and you like this type of content, would you hit the subscribe button? I am literally trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of this year. It's going to be a, an ambitious, ambitious goal, but please do, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Share these videos with your, with your friends and your family. I would totally appreciate it. And, um, and that's that. And the other thing I just wanted to mention that on my Etsy shop, my Etsy shop is only focused on brass, pottery, plush, and wood. So I thought I would just kind of sort of keep that uh, niche on that site only because it's easy for me to manage 
just a few items on my Etsy shop. Everything else is going to my eBay shop. Everything else that you see, if it's not plush, pottery, wood, or brass, it's going on my Etsy shop. All right. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I have more and more and more to do. And I'm going to crank out these videos as best as I possibly can because I have the time to do it on Saturday. All right, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I will talk to you soon. Samuches.